right in front of us we have our first three two-year-olds that have shipped up to the Albatroni barn. Got Bound to be King and Baseline and Archer the Diver. They are going to be doing a little jog and a little gallop in pairs here. Looks like this first pair will be Bound to be King and Baseline and this second pair will have Archer the Diver and a non-West Point horse. We're still in the familiarizing process for all three of these horses. They've all made good first impressions, however. Today they'll go out and do a nice little piece of work. I was talking to Dan, Tom's assistant yesterday, and his you know, initial impression from what he saw, he really liked what he's seen from Archer the Diver. So that he showed a, a bit of a competitive spirit in the morning. It's been a little tough to wrangle him in and uh, keep him from trying to run off ahead of some of the his workmates. It's good to see that he's eager to get after it and do his job. Beautiful morning here at Belmont Park. Just about 60 degrees, sunny. Fortunately, we got some rain coming in, it looks like on Saturday. Uh, could be a little bit problematic for our runner on Saturday, Touch of Paradise. We will still most likely run on the dirt. We would much rather prefer the race to stay on the grass, though. I was taking a look at the race last night, and uh, you know, don't think it's a terribly tough spot if it stays on the grass. You know, our guy has numbers on the grass that are just as good as anything else in the field, and uh, you know, I think he's been anxiously awaiting a return to the lawn. You know, could help him out in his quest towards getting into the winner's circle. I'm gonna try and keep both sets in picture here. Looks like we're going to pick up a bit of a gallop here once they straighten out. Down the back side looks like the first group has started to gallop. And the second group has picked it up as well. Once again, the first two are bound to be king and baseline. And the second two uh, the only horse of ours in there is Archer the Diver. He is on the outside. Looks like he's actually looking to run off a little bit with Eddie King here. Kind of going back to what Dan had told me earlier that he likes to get after it, loves to do his work, and showing a bit of that competitive spirit here in just his third day on the track. It's 
to in front, very relaxed, well within themselves, both bound to be king and baseline on the outside. Baseline's rider has the red uh, vest on. On the inside, bound to be king with Hector has the blue vest. And our main man, Eddie King, is aboard Arch of the Diver. As you saw when they came out their first day, they kind of just galloped through the stretch. Today, they broke off at the top of the back stretch. The ever disguising trees at the quarter, at the uh, half mile pole that always block my, my view there. See all the riders have a nice, deep, long hold on these horses. Don't want to let them get too ahead of themselves. Don't want to let them go too fast. Just about taking a nice, easy cruise around. See sometimes the young horses tossing their heads, pulling on the bit a little bit, want to do more. But uh, it's all about settling in this week. Boy, well, it's kind of like syllabus week. Just getting familiar with what's going to be expected of you throughout the remainder of the semester. The hard work will begin a little bit later on. Arch the Niver just has a, a really classy way about him. The way he kind of crests his neck and grabs a hold of that bit. Yeah, and looking through his pedigree, there's no reason why he can't be a flashy kind of two-turn, three-year-old type as he continues to develop. And those are the kind we want. We want the the horses that can potentially get us to the Derby Trail. Um, we're in the midst of uh, the 2016 Triple Crown sequence right now, and there's no more exciting time in racing. Looking forward to all three of these horses embarking on their careers here at Belmont Park.